Please help us understand what uh, the principal barriers are uh, to marine highway development. And um, please also comment on when the Congress can expect uh, to see the National Maritime Strategy, since we've been waiting for some time on that document and that strategy. And would you also refer to the role that short sea shipping would play in such a strategy? Yes, sir. Thank you. I'll, uh, I'll address that strategy piece first. Uh, as you know, Congress has uh, given us now an extension till the, till the uh, 13th of February of next year, 2020. Um, and I fully expect that we will uh, present the strategy uh, within that uh, timeline, sir. It's uh, currently in interagency uh, coordination, and uh, I'll be standing by to uh, get it and move it forward to you, sir. What can you tell us about it, sir? Give us a preview of coming attractions. Uh, well, it's uh, don't it, ruin the ending. Yeah, I don't want any, any, any spoilers, but <laughs> well, <I can laughs> surely give you, after six years, we got to have some thoughts on on what we're doing, right? I, I can tell you this: foundationally, it's built on on the uh, on the Merchant Marine Act of '36, the uh, the Jones Act, uh, cargo preference. It's built on those things that uh, you know have kept the Merchant Marine alive and breathing, uh, quite frankly. So, uh, so. That's, that's the basis of it. Uh, I think that you will see that uh, short sea shipping and port development and port uh, modernization play a key role, recognizing that our ports are our economic gateways to this country. The majority of our goods flow through those ports and then are distributed uh, through uh, rail, through highways, and hopefully increasingly through maritime highways. So that'll be a key element of that, making sure we continue to modernize that, that flow. And then, and of course, uh, preparing the workforce for the future. Uh, that's a very key element of the strategy to make sure that we're modernizing and bringing enough people in, which is why the uh, National Maritime Security Multi-Mission Vessel Program is a very key element of that. So while you haven't seen it yet, a lot of the things that we're doing right now, you will recognize in that strategy when you see it. We haven't stopped waiting that to be approved to move forward. And short sea shipping? Short sea shipping, the, the barriers I get, I think that uh, are keeping us from really surging ahead thus far, uh, I would say number one is probably awareness, uh, education uh, of, uh, of shippers, that there are these alternate means. Uh, and, and quite frankly, it's understanding the business case uh, to be made or that, that exists to move things by water. Uh, that takes a little digging into and understanding, uh, especially when you're just used to throwing it in the back of a truck or throwing it on a rail car, uh, understanding that there are other ways to move it, that you know, there may be trade-offs in, in time or uh, you know, uh, other certain aspects of it, but in the end, it can have significant impacts in terms of the environment, in terms of uh, savings due to road wear and everything else. What are the Europeans doing that we're not? Sorry? What are the Europeans doing that we're not? Uh, well, you know, they have, they've had a, uh, they have not um, benefited from the road network and the rail network that we have. Uh, you know, we've been very blessed in this country and we have such an extensive road network that has enabled trucking really to, to take the place of uh, what rivers do uh, in Europe. So we, we kind of got spoiled in that respect. When you think back, rivers, uh, our river system, and our coastal system, that's how America moved goods in the beginning before we had roads, before we had railroads, that's how it all happened. We moved away from that because we've got so darn good with our rail system and our road system, both of which are becoming overtaxed now. So, you know, the, our waterways are our one artery where we still have a lot of capacity to grow into. And if we double our, our um, you know, cargo, as we say, we think we're going to do over the next 30 years, we won't have any choice. We will have to go into the waterways. Mr. Gibbs. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Admiral, for being here. Um, 